So erythropoietic protoporphyria, or EPP, it's a fascinating disease, I think. Um, so the main symptom that every patient has is uh, intolerance to sunlight. So if you go out and, and into the sun, you get a terrible burning pain in uh, sun-exposed skin areas. That's the main um, symptom. And you would think that that is such a dramatic, uh, I mean, a symptom that you would recognize the disease immediately, but that is unfortunately not the case. Um, you can't see anything. I mean, it's people or a patient describe this pain as holding an iron to the skin. It's a sharp, burning pain, but you can't see anything on the skin. So, uh, at least in the Swedish population, uh, the, the diagnosis was uh, the, the disease was diagnosed in the when they were in the twenties. So you have the symptoms from your new, newly born, but you're not diagnosed until you're twenty years later. Um, so it's a rare condition. It, uh, what spiked my interest is that a few percent of them also get a liver disease, a progressive cholestatic fibrosis in liver disease and end up needing a liver transplant or, or dying. That sparked my interest. Uh, up until now, there has been no treatment to increase the tolerance for sun. I mean, you cover. You cover with clothes or you stay inside, you stay in the shadow. The problem is that the kind of light that you're mainly sensitive for is the blue visible light around 400 nanometer so uh, it's not UVA it's not UVB so you can't use standard skin cream to increase the tolerance so just stay out of the Sun which of course affects you know life quality and makes you a little bit uh, odd you can't play soccer with the other kids or go to the beach uh, you want to stay indoors instead um, well it's not recognized because it's such a rare disease it's, it's one in 200,000 or so uh, and uh, it is a genetic disease but it skips generations when it's inherited so the family probably doesn't know that anyone else had it before so it's not recognized um, you don't you have to think of it you have to meet a doctor that thinks of this disease don't uh, you know discard them as crazy or psychosomatic or something. Listen to them and realize that this is a real problem and think about why. I mean, uh, because you have a surplus of, of one um, intermediary in the heme synthesis, so it's protoporphyrin, and that's mainly produced in the bone marrow. So replace the erythropoiesis or the bone marrow with, you know, hematopoietic stem cells or a bone marrow transplant, then you're cured.